a very good morning to you all i hope you all are doing absolutely well so i'm back with a new grammar topic and today we are going to do simple past tense we have already studied about tenses we have studied simple present tense and today we are going to do simple past tense but before that let's revise what we have done till now so there are three types of tenses in english past tense present tense and future tense we have also done simple present tense let's revise it again simple present tense tells us about the activities which happen in present time activities which are universally truth okay so the rule of simple present tense is subject plus verb first form we have done three forms of verb remember so verb first form plus s or es plus object okay and this is the rule for singular thing like if the subject is singular then we will add s or es but if the subject is plural then we will not add s or es we will just put verb first form like child plays child is singular verb is play so we have added s children play because children is plural so we haven't added uh, s or es with the verb play now simple past tense past means the time which has gone jo samay ja chuka hai so simple past tense shows an action or activity completed in past okay which has been started in the past and which has been completed in the past he wrote a book here verb is wrote i sang a song here the verb is sang so have you noticed the similarity between wrote and sang that these both are the second form of their verbs like wrote is the second form of write and sang is the second form of sing simple past tense rule as we have done about the rule of simple present tense also so the rule is subject plus verb second form plus object okay he played football he is the subject play is the verb second form of play is played football so he played football is the sentence of the simple past tense in simple past tense if there is there are questions in the form of filling the blanks you just have to write the second form of the verb given to you in the bracket okay so where we use simple past tense for a completed action in a time before now aaj se pehle jo kaam ho chuka hai uske liye i met my husband in 1993 met second form of meet for events that were true for some time in the past that had happened in the past they lived in russia for 3 years okay lived second form of live for a list of completed actions in the past actions which has been started in the past which has been completed ryan came in took off his coat and sat down came second form of come took second form of take sat second form of sit for habits in the past we all have habits in the past so if we are talking about those habits in the present then we will use the simple past tense when i was a child i played the piano played second form of play to talk about an action in the past that takes place in the middle of another action when she arrived i was watching tv you were watching tv in the present but suddenly somebody arrived so and you are telling it about in the present so you will say when she arrived second form of arrive for past facts he did not like eggs before okay did second form of do it is used to express an action completed in the past i went to school yesterday went second form of go the pian rang the bell ran second form of ring she came here last night last night past second form of come came they won the prizes in the competition won second form of win okay so the common similarity and the golden rule of simple past tense is that we put verb second form of the verb given to us <coughs> 
the pain grew worse grow grew the policeman bought a pair of shoes buy bought the soldiers fought bravely fight fought my father lived in bangalore live lived we bought a new car last week buy bought so this was the whole concept of simple past tense you just need to remember you just need to memorize the verb second form of every possible verb you know because in simple past tense we are just going to filling the uh, filling up the verb second form of the verbs given to us okay so i hope you have understood it please watch this video at least two to three times for the better understanding and i will see you next time with the new topic thank you so much